So, hello guys, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 18E. So the question says, open the file saved in task 18D. Add new data entry forms to collect data for all fields in both of the tables. Okay, so when we open our access, we see that the last job that we did or the task that we did is 18D. Uh, for students, we were able to create a relationship between these two tables. So our job in this task is actually to create a um, form, right? So if you want to create form, you want to just click on that table. So for example, I want to click on the student, and then I want to go to create. I want to go to um, form wizard. So here, uh, you have to choose the table you want. So by default, it takes uh, the uh, table students, okay? from task 18D, so which is what I want. I actually want all the fields, so I'm going to click on the second arrow, right? I want to go to next. You want to be sure that it's on columnar. You want to check uh, the columnar uh, for the layout, and then the next is to actually uh, give it a title, okay? So what I'm going to do here is to call it um, task 18E here. Okay, task 18E. Sorry, you're supposed to be in small letter. And then I'll change it TBL, which suggests um, table. I want to uh, change it to form F, uh, FRM. So this will suggest form. Okay. So, of course, I will finish and then see that this has become a form. So if you look down here, you will see that the form has been uh, created for this table. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for table teachers, right? So let me just close uh, this form and then do that, that same thing for table teachers. So I'm going to go to create. Uh, you want to go to form wizard here. Uh, you want to be sure that this is selected. If uh, the table teachers is not selected, you can actually click on this arrow to be able to uh, select the right table. All right, so of course it's selected. So I'm going to just click on the second arrow to have all my fields in there. So actually, if you still, if you want uh, um, one, one of your fields, something like this, you can just do that by clicking this uh, single arrow. Okay, but if you want everything, you can click the second arrow. Okay, so I want to go to next and then of course leave it as column now. So you want to change the name to E. And then, of course, the table to FRM that suggests form, FRM that suggests form. So you want to actually uh, click on finish, and that will create a form for your, you know, for, for your data or for your table, right? So if you look down here, um, if you hover over this uh, control buttons here, you will see that this first button here will be the, for the first record. So if you click, it takes you to the first record. So currently I'm in the first record, which is one of 10. Okay, so the second one will be the previous record. So this will be the next record. It will take you to the next record. So if I click it, it takes me to record two, record three till 10, right? So if I want to jump to the last record, I'll click on this one, last record. So I click on it, it takes me to 10. So if I want to add new record, which we're going to see in the next task, I suppose, or subsequent tasks. So you're going to click on the new uh, blank record, and that will be it, right? So uh, thank you so much for this video. This So this is how we can create a simple form in Microsoft Access. So I will see you guys in the next video.